Hi, my name is David Whitehead. From the middle 90s, I have dealt with chronic health issues, first digestive issues, and then second of all, um, uh, fatigue issues. And though I've had sabbaticals, and I've, though I've been off of work, and I've uh, been to probably 30 different doctors, by 2013, I had to retire from my pastorate. I was in the ministry for 30 years. It was my passion, it was my love, and <clears throat> that's one thing I missed tremendously. In 2014, in 2015, they found Lyme disease and they found black mold uh, toxicity in my body. And though I've been treated for those, the damage has been done apparently and I haven't gotten any better. And so today I deal with fatigue and my diet consists of uh, a few baby foods, a few vegetables and uh, meat and water. Now in the last four years, I have learned a couple things. First of all, I have learned that I have a fantastic wife. About three and a half years ago, uh, when I was at my worst, I began to wonder if the financial pressures and the medical pressures would actually drive her away because that does happen. But I'm here to tell you, and by the way, she never hinted that at me whatsoever. It was just my insecurity. My wife has been faithful, loving, and walked with me through the ups and downs of our health situation and uh, been an example to my family. Second of all, I have been allowed by God to grow in believing in His providence and His sovereignty. There have been times in the last four years where my body and my mind were so sick that I spent days and weeks in bed and I had to pray and ask God that He would cause me to rest in Him, cause me to relax in Him, cause me to be able to accept what He's doing in my life, and also I prayed that He would help me to grow in believing in His providence. There are no maverick molecules in my life. I believe completely and entirely that God has me completely in the center of His will. I would love to be the old Dave that I used to be, high energy bouncing off the walls, but I'm not, and God may never allow that to happen. But what He has allowed is He's allowed me to learn about His grace, His strength, His comfort, and again, to learn about His sovereignty in my life. Now, why do I mention all that? Because one of the great parts of the last four years has been life groups in Pam and my life. We've been involved in it for three and a half years and we've gone consistently. Sometimes I can't go because I don't feel well, but we have gone regularly because I need that. We need that. The friendship, the camaraderie, the encouragement from the scriptures, the laughing together, the family. We've needed that to be a part of our lives. Pam and I believe that I'm stable enough now and I manage my health issues well enough that we would like to start a life group at our home specifically geared towards those who deal with chronic health issues, pain, suffering, and caregivers. If you're a part of that group, would you think about joining us? Would you join us so that we can encourage one another in the things of the Lord? Our group will be called Hope Keepers. And the reason we're calling it that is because when you have chronic issues, you need hope. You need hope in the Lord, and you need encouragement from other believers. Thank you for letting me share with you what God has done in my life, and may the Lord bless you.